Welcome to the channel guys. We are back again for another top 10 summer list. This is my niche list, so stay tuned for that. If you like top 10 lists, fragrance reviews, clone comparisons, and first impressions, hit that subscribe button for more great content. So now is the time for summer. There's a lot of really great fragrances out there. And of course, this is my niche list. So these are 10 fragrances that I would either recommend or I plan on wearing myself. I don't actually own bottles of all these, but some of them I do recommend checking out, especially if you like. A lot of these are a little bit fresher, but summer is the time for those fragrances and I'm gonna get right into it. I have three honorable mentions actually. So first one is actually by the user group by Galleria Parfums. And this is actually a really nice citrusy green fragrance now it does say by the user grove and i guess the one thing at least for me that i found a little bit strange or perhaps even somewhat disappointing is that to me i don't get a ton of yuzu in this there is a little bit of this nice sort of yuzu cocktail which does give it a little bit of a liquidy feel it doesn't come off especially boozy but it does have a little bit of a liquidy feel to it much like i get with like side effect where the booziness comes across at least to my sense is almost aquatic. Um, it's a little bit green, it's fresh, does have a little bit of a lemonade vibe to it, but ultimately very nice, easy to wear, and worth checking out if you haven't. The next one, Ramune, which is from Jason. Absolutely fantastic. Love this one, smells like Ramune. It is a nice, sweeter, fresh fragrance. Does have a little bit of that fizzy soda kind of vibe. If you want something that's a little bit sweet, but still nice for warmer weather, Ramune is an excellent, excellent choice. And especially if you've had Ramune before, it will conjure up some really great memories. Next one, Roses on Ice. I think this one, you know, it's funny, I actually um, did do a comparison with this one and Nautica Voyage, and it seems that some people certainly do agree with me that there is a similarity there uh, between Nautica and Roses on Ice. I think it's largely the fact that they're both fresh um, fragrances with a prominent cucumber vibe. Um, now, obviously, Roses on Ice, much more complex. There's a faint rose, I don't really get a lot of it, but it is nice, is crisp, it does have a cooling effect, and it is one that I think is definitely worth checking out if you're a Killian fan. Um, and if you do want something with a little bit of that cucumber vibe, that fresh cucumber that Nautica is known for, check that one out for sure. Now we're into the list, bottom of the list, 10th spot, Gentle Fluidity Silver by MFK. This is fresh, juniper berries, really, really well crafted. This is still my favorite um, fragrance from MFK to this day. Um, now I'll say I haven't tried all the fragrances that he has to offer, or at least his brand has to offer, uh, but this is a really, really nice, easy to wear fresh fragrance. Sometimes it gives me slight um, Green Irish Tweed vibe in the opening, uh, but really I think that's, uh, a little bit of a hallucination but there is a you know there is a little bit of a green effect there and it is a really really nice one next one had to include a soapy fragrance and i wish it actually performed a little bit better but tragedy of lord george is probably one of the most luxurious soapy clean fragrances that i've ever smelt so it does really really have this very high quality luxury bar of soap vibe and it's weird because you wouldn't really get that from the notes it has rum it, it's woody uh, apparently, and it's supposed to be this boozy fragrance, but personally, I don't really get that. I do find that it is a very nice, clean, luxurious, soapy fragrance. Performance is the big drawback I get between the four to six hour mark, which is, of course, leaving a little bit to be desired. The next one on the list is one that's making a nice return to the list and one that I do really enjoy, one of my favorites from Mansara, that is Windwood. Now, this is a really heavy, violet fragrance it does have a little bit of a green feel too uh, but that violet gives you a really nice fresh uplifting very breezy feel and this one does you know it has the name wind wood in it so you do get kind of this breezy wood it is slightly sweet as well very slightly sweet but um this one does give me vibes of he-man rocky mountain now some people agree with that some people don't i don't think it smells exactly the same but there is a definite similarity there. As far as I know, Rocky Mountain was discontinued. So this, if you do love that fragrance, is something worth trying. You can get this for a very, very good price as well. So this is a really nice one. Performance is really good. Only drawback is I sometimes get a little bit of a powdery vibe as this one dries down. I'm not really a fan of powdery notes, but other than that, I do really enjoy this one. 
especially that opening is just such a beautiful breezy fresh vibe very very good and like i said if you're looking for something green fresh you like that violet breezy vibe this one for sure now the next one bohemian lime i'm pretty sure this is newer to the list i did just try it recently this one is fresh and it is lime there is a sharpness there and the lime does come off a little bit different than you know other lime dominant fragrances it does have i think it's like called finger lime or something and that is an australian type of lime really really nice it is pretty damn strong and it's fairly linear so that is the one thing to be aware of you know if you try it out and you find the lime to be a little overpowering it's very very linear in my opinion and does pretty much stay that lime dominant note for most of the fragrance but if you like lime um, and if you like the the way that one smells i think it's uh, fantastic and the fact that it's a little bit linear will not be a problem at all for you next one another one that i absolutely love pomelo Paradise, uh, Paradise, not sure how it, how it would be pronounced here, but this is one that I also love. This is like really fresh grapefruit. There is a little bit of tartness, but there's also a little bit of sweetness there. And like a lot of Atier Cologne fragrances, the performance is not that great, but when it comes to citrus, they are one of the best brands because they just have this beautiful, realistic, crisp, citrus vibe in their fragrances when they do uh fragrances like this and it is so so good if you love grapefruit pomelo is similar to grapefruit does have this really nice grapefruit uh vibe just feels like you're cutting into a fresh grapefruit it has a little bit of a liquidy feel in the opening as well um but really really great fragrance love that one now the next one i think i put it on the list a couple times but i do love this one aquatica by Genre Parfums. You could substitute this out. This is a clone of Arolfa. Now, I find Arolfa performs very poorly. Um, if you could find it at a decent price, it might be worth it, but you know, at retail price, with the performance, it's kind of terrible, but it is one of the best marine fragrances of all time, in my personal opinion. I like Aquatica personally, because I do feel like it does a really good job of being uh, a good clone. Um, definitely got me a few compliments. One of my most complimented freshies. And the price is right, of course. So good price point and it is, uh, it does perform a lot better. And like I said, this is probably 90, 95% in that range. I do get a little bit of that salty feel with it. I do get that nice, really fresh marine vibe that just is beautiful. There's a slight sweetness there, but this one is so, so, so good. And like I said, I prefer this one to Arolfa. Now, we are in the top four, and I'm going to be putting down Herba Pura. Now, like I've said in a couple of videos, I personally have not worn this one in the summer. A lot of people swear by it, and I do really like this fragrance, which is basically the main reason I'm gonna be putting it on this list. I think it's a fantastic fragrance, and I'm gonna trust that a lot of people wear this in the summer because it is actually really nice in the summer. This is like a fruit bowl, sweet, very potent, it does have this nice candied fruity vibe. Sometimes reminds me a little bit of Skittles. Really, really nice. Dries down into this sort of semi-sweet, musky kind of a vibe that does leave sort of the remnants of this sort of fruitiness with that really nice musky vibe. And it's just really, really good. Outstanding performance, beautiful bottle, beautiful fragrance. And if you haven't really tried anything from Zerzhov, it is one of the ones I would recommend to try first because a lot of people love it and I also think that it's also really, really good. And if you like those sort of uh, sweet, fruity fragrances, definitely give this one a try, fantastic. Now, next one is gonna be Sun Dazed by Byredo. This is a really, really nice fragrance. I was very surprised this one didn't really feel very orangey for me, but it did have a really nice complexity to it. it didn't come across as, you know, your typical citrus fragrance does have a lot of sort of depth underneath the actual uh, fresh, nice fresh opening that it has. Has a little bit of a, I think it was, it's like a sweet kind of uh, cotton candy kind of feel, but it does have a little bit more depth and resinous kind of uh, dry down. And the fact that it transitions so nicely from the opening into the dry down is really, really nice. Love that one a lot. I think it's worth trying out. Byredo, not a huge fan of the brand. I'm just gonna be honest with you, but 
that one I did actually find myself enjoying and I would like to try out a little bit more of the brand. Into the top two, um, one of them is definitely a newer fragrance and it is De Decas by Zerzhov. Usually I try not to have two fragrances from the same house uh, on the list, but this time I guess it couldn't be avoided. I did really like Decas and I've always liked the idea of a fresher uh, tobacco fragrance. And so this basically, it is actually very, it is similar, it's in a similar vein as something like um, Naxos, but it does smell quite different. So it's a nice, lighter, fresher fragrance. It is definitely a fresher take on the same kind of sweet tobacco fragrance that Naxos is. So it's not quite as thick, but it does still perform very well. Although it is light, it is something that does project. It does uh, linger in the air, but it never becomes too overwhelming, too thick. And this is one of the reasons why I think it would be nice in the summer, especially if it's a bit of a slightly cooler evening. It'd be fantastic. It does have a little bit of that sweet, seductive vibe. Tobacco is quite prominent. So um, unlike Naxos, where I find it's a lot more of a sweet, honey dominant fragrance the tobacco in uh, Decas is actually quite forward and it is a fair a fairly tobacco forward fragrance so very interesting and if you haven't tried anything uh, haven't tried Decas I would definitely recommend it if you like tobacco and if you want something that's a little bit fresher uh, for spring summer um, that would be a great choice in my opinion now the top of the list is probably no surprise to a lot of people who uh, have watched my channel and that is Sedley by Parfums de Marley. This is my favorite freshie from the house. And one of my favorite freshies, this thing, the 2020 version for me is absolute beast mode. It projects and performs so well. So whatever it is that they actually did to change this fragrance, to fix the performance, they succeeded it for me. Um, I found the 2019 batch, I did like the fragrance, I liked the smell, but it was basically a skin scent the second you sprayed it on. Um, and, you know, that's a bit of a problem. I, I mean, not every fragrance needs to be beast mode, but if something is a skin scent right away, especially at the price point for most uh, most perfumes of Marley, it feels a little bit much to me. I did want, to, I, I want at least some projection. This one... Totally the opposite. Um, in, in some cases, I might say this one's a little bit too beast. Very, very fresh, nice, great, fizzy opening. I love that fizzy opening. And it does have a little bit of woodiness that becomes a lot more prominent as this one dries down. Now it has these sort of fresher elements that definitely sit with the fragrance. But when this one does hit the dry down, the, the deeper in the dry down, it's completely a woody fragrance for me. So woody fresh, and if you like those uh, fizzy, uh, fresh crisp fragrances that's 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 this one and the mint in this one to me it provides more of a nice crispness than anything else uh, but it is really really nice and like I said if you do pick this one up make sure it's 2020 or after um, the 2019 batch is not a good batch for performance but this one absolutely fantastic love what they've done this was on so anyways guys that is my top 10 list for the summer niche version leave a comment down below what are some of the niche fragrances that you are enjoying wearing or looking forward to wearing as the weather heats up let me know in the comments down below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video